Hi everybody! Here you go. This is eggplant, Korean eggplant gaji. We are going to make gaji namul, steamed eggplant. Gaji namul is always my favorite side dish. First, we are going to steam this, and then this is my steamer pot, and I added two cups of water here, then the steamer rack, I will add this. And then cover this and let it boil. Around five minutes, I boil these two cups of water. It will be really boiling quickly. These three, I'm going to use this, about one pound. Yeah. I'm going to quick wash. And cut this around two and a half inch long, like this. Okay. When the water starts to boil, we are going to steam this. It's now boiling. Let's steam. Open this. Meanwhile, let's prepare. So our seasonings. Three garlic. Did I mention sometime? Always, whenever I make a gajinamo, I use a really generous amount of garlic. Because when I was young, I overheard my grandmother told my aunt, oh, when you make a gajinamo, you gotta use a lot of garlic. So I heard this. And then, Okay, garlic is very important to make it delicious. And two green onions. We are going to transfer this here. This is my chopstick, one chopstick. Five minutes after, I'm going to poke with this guy and to see if it goes through easily. If this is too much cooked, and it's going to be mushy. And like, is this not cooked, not tasty. So see, easily goes through. Like this, it's done. So I'm going to take it out like this. So let it cool down here. This is really, really hot. Be careful. You guys know that I can handle really hot kind of temperature stuff, but this is exception. This is a really, really hot. Meanwhile, let's make this sauce. Means the garlic and green onion, and then we need to add some salty, salty stuff. One tablespoon soy sauce. If you are vegetarian, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. So total four teaspoons soy sauce you can use. That's a vegetarian version. But today, I will use just fish sauce a little bit because the fish sauce make it really special. Fish sauce, one teaspoon. The reason I use fish sauce is the fish sauce really deep flavor makes it taste like a real Korean soup soy sauce, well fermented soup soy sauce. And also, I'm using one teaspoon hot pepper flakes. And well mix. Sesame oil, about two teaspoons. Then, let's tear this. So, just in case if it is too hot, you can dip your finger like this. Like this, bite-sized pieces. The hat, I'm going to dip my fingers like that. When you tear this, more tasty. Okay, it's done. So I'm going to just mix this. It's 
smell really good. Sesame oil and garlic. And then home toasted sesame seeds. Crush this sesame seeds between your fingers. Really smells good. About one tablespoon amount. Mmm, nice. Beautiful. Let me taste it. Rice first. Mm. Soft, sweet, and juicy. And sesame oil, garlic. All this is the Korean special, some seasoning kind of flavor is all this is concentrated and so tasty. I love this texture of eggplant when it's steamed. Not greasy at all also. Today, we made Gaji Namul, Korean steamed eggplant with seasoning sauce. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.